Alright, what's going on folks? Today we have the Trigicon AccuPower 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 8. Um, so this product's pretty new. Um, it's a, in my opinion, it, it might be the end all be all low power variable. Um, <clears throat> No, I know in the past with the AccuPowers, uh, especially the 1 to 4s, and they've also had the problem with the VCOGs with being daylight bright. Um, I'll roll some footage in at the end of the video um, outside going through brightness settings, but on um, 9, 10, and 11, it is daylight bright. Um, it's not even like, oh, it's. If you look at this open shot, no, it's straight up daylight bright. Um, super awesome clear glass, just like any other Trigicon product. Um, this thing is a bit of a tank though. Um, comes in at 25 ounces, which <clears throat> if you compare it to the Vortex Razor 1 to 6, this thing's actually a hair lighter. I think that one's 25.2 ounces. Um, this one, however, has a 34 millimeter tube so it, it is a pretty big scope. Um, this one has the red MOA. Let's see if I can get a decent shot of the uh, reticle. Come on. So yeah, on nine inside, it's bigger, bright. But um, it's a first focal plane. This one is the MOA. Radical, come on. There we go. So, anyways, um, you guys can search the links out there for what it's gonna look like. Um, there, I mean, if you're used to the VCOG, um, I run a VCOG, or if you even have the one to four AccuPower, you're gonna be fairly familiar with it. Um, it has uncapped turrets, which I'm not a huge fan of. I like cap turrets. I'm not going to be dialing with the 1 to 8. That's why I have the MOA. I have a bunch of freaking hold marks. But um, a lot of people like them. They all like to think they're snipers. With the 2 2 3, I'm freaking using holds, not dialing in. Um, anyways, is it worth the wait? I don't know. It's the same weight as a Razor 1 to 6, which everyone loves for 3 gun. But first focal plane, so it's like a red dot EOTech reticle on 1x, and you get 8x magnification, so that's pretty dope. Um, battery power is still like 31 hours. Um, got this from Kenzie's Optics, and unfortunately, they shipped it to me with it being on 11 power, so I had to replace the battery on it, it's kind of dim. Um, but it got sitting in a worn mount. Um, I love American Defense Recon mounts, and that's my go-to mount. I have two of them. I have one on my 3 to 9 AccuPower. I have one on my 1 to 4 AccuPoint. But they're a little bit heavy, considering this scope's already heavy as crap. And on a 3-gun rifle, I'm probably not going to be swapping it around. Like, once this gets put on my 18-inch uh, Nobeski barrel rifle, it's probably going to stay on home. There. Um, these things, MSRP $16.99. Most places like Optics Planet, Euro Optic, all that, um, you're looking at like 14.45. Um, I got this a little bit cheaper than that through Kenzie's um, gun show price. Um, Natchez had them for like 1,100 bucks when these things first came out. Everyone hopped on that. Unfortunately, Natchez doesn't do that price. Uh, most places you're going to see them for like 14. Um, you can find them in the 13s on Gunbroker. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited once I finally get this scope mounted. Um, it's got a lot of great potential in it. It has a huge magnification range. It has a much better throw loader than the Aki Point that I have right now. So, um, I'll throw that footage in at the end of uh, it outside to, for proof that it is daylight bright. So, this is the uh, Aki Power on daylight setting. 9, 10, and 11. As you can see, definitely daylight bright. So 
zoom in, gets even brighter, zoom out, daylight bright guys.